Good afternoon, that's the happy, happy throttle body Valentine's Day video. We're gonna cover just a reference of how the throttle body is expected to behave, current voltage on the DC wires, and then I'm gonna show the feed forward line expected behavior, and I'm gonna show the auto tune behavior. More or less, just for people to be able to compare with their experiences if things don't go well. So again, that's just the voltage between the DC motor wires. That's the power source, random Chinese thing for like, I don't know, 40 bucks on eBay. That's the throttle body, that's a Proteus, that's Tuner Studio, that's my pedal. We will start with everything properly configured. That's the expected behavior. We see how the output goes. Oops. Let me start data logging. Now we are data logging again. That's what we consider a happy throttle. You can see the I term. You can see we have a fancy troubleshooting gauge now for rate of change on the output. That's the output gauge, a bunch of different info available. Happy behavior. Now I'm gonna set PID to all zeros. That would be highlighting the fact that while we have um, auto tune for the PID, that actually builds on top of the feed forward curve, which is actually this curve. And this curve needs to be reasonable. And reasonable is a vague term. Reasonable means that it kind of opens, it's not oscillating, it's not crazy. On the other hand, it like barely tries to close, slowly opens. You might be, you should be able to see this if you have a high resolution um, version of the video. So I move pedal slowly and throttle is somewhat cooperating. And this is what we consider a good feed forward also known as bias, I guess, setting. If you have that, we expect that then you can put your pedal down, hit the auto tune button. You are supposed to get something like this. That's the voltage, that's the current, that's the gauges. Uh, you definitely need to give it a, bit, a little bit of time. If you stop the auto tune right away, it would produce bad results. So let me stop it now and let's see how are the... Yeah, the calibrations are again reasonable for what we currently consider reasonable. There's, a, there's, a, there's an idea to enhance uh, PID auto tune by having automatic detection of tune is done versus tune is still to be happening at the moment you just manually stop tuning after I don't know 30 seconds and that's not as convenient as it should be one day it would be nice to have some measures for auto tuning the bias curve because at the moment you're supposed to come up with it good luck I don't know how so yeah that's that's the reference point <laughs> 